Hey guys, welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. Drew speaking to you, and it's great to have you here with us as we prepare for the FIFA World Cup, which will begin in November on November the 20th, and that is fast approaching as we get excited for the biggest sporting event in the world, and that will be coming to us from Qatar in the Middle East on November the 20th, and it will carry on into December with the World Cup crowning a new champion towards the end of the month, right before Christmas. So it is a great time to be a soccer fan and a soccer better. Now, on today's video, I wanted to show you something a little special, which is the playoff simulator available at Z Code System. All you have to do is sign up today and you will have access to the Z Code System playoff simulator. Now, the simulator is a great tool because it can help you narrow down some of your picks. It can also help you make decisions on the teams to uh, bet on for outright winners uh, bets and wagers. And so this is a great tool to use and I'm gonna show you how to use it today. And we're gonna go through it a few times uh, to simulate the World Cup this coming month. Uh, this, like I said, it's a great tool and you can use it for various sports that uh, are available as you can see there, the NHL, NFL, NBA different sports during their playoff uh, uh, their playoff seasons, I guess you could say, the post seasons, you will be able to use this if you are a member of Z Code System. Now we've built it here for the upcoming World Cup where we will be able to uh, determine which teams are uh, advanced, I guess I should say, advanced to the knockout stages and then the path to the World Cup final, we can uh, determine that. Now, you may not want to use all of the information that comes from the playoff simulator, but again, it's a tool that can help you make positive decisions on your bets or perhaps uh, reinforce some of the ideas that you have when making your bets for the World Cup. Now, the playoff simulator uses lots of different data points uh, to come up with these selections so we have data on our on our uh, on our half uh, to benefit us here in the z code system playoff simulator now as i said before the world cup is coming up it, later this month uh, november the 20th is when it starts as qatar as you can see right there play ecuador in the first game now the world cup right now the betting odds favor brazil to win the tournament and we can see brazil's over there in group g they'll play serbia Switzerland and uh, Cameroon in the group stage. Now, keep in mind, Brazil has been the favorite to win the World Cup for the last two editions of the tournament, which they did not win the World Cup uh, in 2014. They were the favorites going in, but they lost in the semifinals to Germany, who went on to win the tournament. And in 2018, they lost in the quarterfinals after being the pre-tournament favorite. Uh, they lost and, uh, yeah, were knocked out as France went on to win the tournament. Now, Brazil is a team that is often overhyped, overvalued by sports books. Yes, they have some great players. And yes, they have a, a fantastic squad ahead of this World Cup. But keep in mind, they are often overhyped and overvalued as potential winners. Brazil has not won the World Cup since 2002 when they won it in Japan and South Korea. Again, they are the favorites to win the tournament. Now, as you can see here, looking at the groups, we've got a lot of very exciting groups to come. Uh, a lot of groups with teams that already look like um, they could you know, walk through these groups. Belgium, their group looks pretty easy uh, right there. I think Germany and uh, Spain in group E, that looks like a difficult group, Japan and Costa Rica in there as well. Um, you know, if, if you believe that uh, Qatar was put into one of the easier groups, then I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say you were wrong as they will play with Ecuador, Netherlands and Senegal. I'd say watch out for that Netherlands team. I think it's a very good team, uh, a, a very exciting group. Uh, England, USA, Iran, and Wales. What an exciting group that's going to be. Uh, and then, of course, we've got uh, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a bit of a tip. I really like Argentina to win this tournament. Uh, not necessarily because of Lionel Messi, even though I think that uh, he could have a great tournament. But um, I do like this Argentina team to cause some um, some waves, I guess you could say, in Qatar. And I wouldn't be surprised if Argentina win the World Cup in Messi's last 
World Cup tournament appearance. All right, now let's take a look at the simulator here, and we're going to go through this. Now, of course, we've also got the Soccer Buddy tool at uh, Z Code System, which gives you um, helpful hints and tips and predictions and picks on scores as well as winners. Um, but this is just slightly different here. And we've got three different upset levels. And I'm going to go through all three of them. I, I wrote about these in the blog. Um, I'll give examples with these. And uh, we've got three upset levels. We've got low, average, and high. So I'm going to start with the average level here on Z Code system. Uh, and we're going to see what transpires. And as you can see there, we've got a pick of the Netherlands winning the World Cup defeating Germany in the final. Now, that would be a rematch of the 1974 final in which Germany won the tournament. Uh, but as you can see there, so we've got these really exciting picks here uh, for the tournament with the the uh, Z-Code system simulation. Um, so you've got this uh, this to help you make and narrow down your picks. Uh, Netherlands, I think, is a great shout for a potential winner at the World Cup. I think this is a very strong team. Uh, they've got Virgil van Dijk. They've got Memphis Depay. They've got uh, Jorginho Wijnaldum. This is a very exciting team, and I don't think that is a terrible pick uh, going forward uh, for the World Cup. So, again, that is the average upset level. And, again, remember, this is just a tool to use to help you make smart picks for the World Cup. Now we're going to simulate again. We're going to take a look at the low upset level and see what comes out. Okay, so with the low upset level, we've got the Netherlands again picking up the win. And surprisingly, with a low upset level, we've got Mexico going on to the final being Germany in the semis. Now, this is where the the tool is is good to use, but also with a little bit of knowledge that you would have from your uh, your betting and, and knowing uh, the sport. Mexico is not a team that's going to get to the semifinals. Mexico is not a team that's going to win the World Cup or, or get to the final. It's going to be too difficult for them to to reach that far. So, as as a better, you will you will know some of the. Uh, these teams very well, and and you'll know that some of these teams using the simulator are being a bit overhyped from the data that is being used. Meanwhile, you will know that the data backs up some of these other teams, these strong teams, such as again the Netherlands here and Germany uh, here uh, going forward uh, from that group. All right, let's simulate one more time and let's go with a high upset level and see what shakes loose for this one. Now, this time we've got something very different. We've got uh, Belgium going out in the, uh, looks like the round of, what is that, the round of eight, the quarterfinals, uh, with Argentina making it through to the semifinals to play Spain. And then Belgium, who has been hyped for many years now for, I guess, the last two, three World Cups as potential winners. We have them going on to win the tournament in a final against Spain. That would be a fantastic final between these two teams. We also have England going through to the semifinals. Now, here's one of the things I like about this simulation it, on the high upset level is I actually like those four teams in a semifinal, uh, in the semifinals. But again, I personally, for me, I like Argentina in the World Cup this year. Uh, although, you know, Belgium, again, has been uh, backed. Uh, to win a major tournament in the last six to nine years. They've not done it. I know they have a fantastic group of players. Spain, uh, they've got, uh, you know, they won the, the World Cup in, uh, was it 2010 in South Africa? And they won the uh, European Championships on either side of that in 20, uh, 2008 and 2012. So again, this is a Spanish team that is, is a good team, uh, just like Belgium. Uh, and I think the simulation actually picks four really good teams to to make it to that semi-final again i do like argentina to go on and win the world cup now as we get close to the world cup will we see some different uh different uh results from our simulations yes we, we very well could do and as well once the tournament starts we can use the playoff simulator to help us learn more about teams progressing and perhaps going on to win the World Cup. So this is a great tool to use if you are a uh, Z-Code system 
subscriber and user. So uh, definitely something I, I recommend to use. And of course, if you need to know a little bit more about the Zcode system tool, then you can look at there. And as well as on our YouTube channel, you can search the YouTube channel for the different tools that we offer at Z Code System. And again, this isn't just good for the World Cup. This is good for the various sports that use a playoff system uh, in the postseason, especially in the USA. So guys, this is a tool that you can definitely use and sign up today for Z Code System to get access to it. Now, the World Cup is going to be coming up in just about three weeks, and we will be bringing you even more uh, picks and predictions for the different games that are going on and uh, I'll be definitely doing some more articles and videos here on the channel so you'll be up to date with everything and we'll be doing some picks for you from uh, the tournament from the group stage because it's really exciting I'm excited for it and uh, this World Cup is going to yeah be a bit of a different one it's a winter World Cup for the first time and you know you're going to be able to uh, get a lot of games in a very short time before we go back to the club soccer season all right guys let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win the World Cup this coming season or this coming month uh, let me know who you think down below I like Argentina to win it but that's me uh, let me know who you think will win it and if you like this video please hit that thumbs up share on social media and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that notification icon so you get updates every time we post a video here on YouTube. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me, and I'll see you next time here on Z Code System.